Today, I'm gonna to show you how to add style to your images using fill layers in Photoshop. Hey there, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. Today's episode is really simple and it's a, such a cool technique that you can use on any of your photos to add style. We're gonna show you how to use a solid color fill layer applied with a blending mode that's gonna change the overall color and tone of your photograph. We're also gonna show you how to add this effect to just your highlights or your shadows. It's such a simple effect, but it can make a huge difference in your overall photos. You can download the sample image that we're using in the tutorial on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. Getting started here in Photoshop, we're gonna go to layer, down to new fill layer, and we're gonna go to solid color. Now, a solid color fill layer simply just fills your entire image with a solid color and you have your color picker here, you can choose what color you want. Let's go ahead and start right there. Now at this point, it just fills the entire image with a color, but we want this color to integrate a little bit better into our actual photograph. So we're gonna change the blend mode of this layer. We're gonna go right over here to where you see normal. These are your blend modes, and we're gonna change this from normal to soft light. So here on soft light, this color is actually influencing the colors of our image. Now, the reason I love these solid color fill layers is they're so easy to change. If you just double click right here on this little thumbnail, it's gonna bring up your color picker again. And here I can change the color, there we go, and check that out. We have all these different effects that we can do with our image. So if we wanna add more greens, we can do that, maybe more blues. Now, in this particular image, I wanna actually apply two of these layers. I want one of these layers to be visible in my shadows and another in my highlights. And because we're working with trees here, I wanna add red into our shadows and green into our highlights. I'm just gonna be sure to mask out our subject's skin because you don't wanna put green on people's skin. It's gonna look like kinda, of, it just won't look right. Now, to start, I'm gonna show you what it looks like when our blending mode is on normal. So I want this layer to only be visible in the shadows of our image. What I'm gonna do is double click right here in this gray area, you can also go to FX and down to blending options. So this is our layer style. Now here in your layer style, you can choose your opacity, you can choose your blend mode, just like we did over here. On the bottom of our layer style dialog, you'll see where it says blend if. Now what we wanna do is hold alt or option and click and drag from the right to the left here. And what this does is it simply makes this layer invisible where the highlights of my image are, okay? So from the right to the left, we're just gonna go all the way and it just fades right out from the highlights. Now you can take this slider here and just continue to go a little bit farther if you'd like. And it's just gonna start to be visible in just the darker shadows. In this case, we'll just bring it right to about there. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let's hit okay there. And we're just gonna leave that right there for now. Let's create another one of these layers and have that be visible just in the highlights. So we'll make that one invisible. This time we'll go to layer, fill layer, solid color. Let's hit okay. And we'll just make this a nice green. We'll change the color in just a minute. So now what I wanna do, remember this layer we have visible in the shadows. This other layer, I want this to only be visible in the highlights. So let's double click here. I'm gonna hold alt or option. Now, instead of going from the right to the left, we're gonna go from the left to the right. So Alt or Option, let's click and drag from the left to the right, and we're gonna see it's disappearing from the shadows. It's only gonna start to appear in the highlights. And right about there, looks pretty good. Now, in this case, again, I wanna click on my layer mask and just be sure to paint black on my layer mask, especially over our subject skin. You just don't really wanna put green in people's skin. They're gonna kinda, their skin tone's just gonna look unhealthy. There we are. So let's go ahead and just make sure we are masking out our subject's skin here. There we go. But everything else is gonna look really great. Okay, so again, both of these layers right now, this purple layer and this green layer, both of these are just set to normal blending mode. So the next thing we wanna do is change the blending mode back to soft light. 
So let's go from normal down to soft light. There we go. And you can see it's much more subtle. And same thing with this layer. From normal down to soft light. And again, it's much more subtle. So now we can have both of these on at the same time and you can see their combined effect. So there's the before and the after. Now, the reason I love this technique is because it's so easy to change these colors. Because oftentimes when you're color toning your image, it's like you don't know exactly what to change in order to make it look a little different. Here, it's so easy to change these colors. All you have to do is double click right here on this thumbnail and you have your color picker again. And again, you just move around your image and you can see in real time what this actually looks like. So if you want, keep in mind, this is my, these will affect my highlights. These will affect my shadows. You can make your shadows cool like a blue, or you can go down and make them a nice warm color. You could be saturated or less saturated. You could go dark or you can go light. You have a lot of control here. So I'm going to actually do something like this. We'll just go like a nice, like yellowish green, Something like that looks really nice in our highlights. And now let's work on our shadows. So the shadows I want to pull a little bit more towards a red. It was a little bit too magenta. And we're going to kind of pull that down. But I want I still want them to be saturated. There we go. And that looks really, really nice. Maybe we'll just pull this green a little bit more towards yellow here. And pull it a little less saturated and a little darker. Okay, well, there we have it. We basically just added like a total color style to this image and it was so simple to do. Let's just turn those two layers off and then back on for the before and after. And of course you have, you can turn them off and on individually. And if it's too strong of, of an effect, like this is like, man, maybe it's too red. All you have to do is just lower the opacity just a little bit and you're good to go. And that's all there is to it. Just create a solid color fill layer and make sure to change your blending mode to soft light. Now, if you want this to only be visible in your shadows or your highlights, just double click on your layer or go to FX and to blending options. There in blend if, you can hold alt or option and restrict this visibility from your highlights or your shadows. Keep your highlight color in mind. If you're using warm colors, they can be visible on skin, but cool colors like green and blue and purple, you wanna make sure to mask those out so they don't show up over your subject's skin. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Click the big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for free Photoshop tutorials every single week. Thanks again. I'll flirt you later. Bye everyone. Did you enjoy this episode? I did. I want to introduce you to a special little stone here. This is called Labradorite. It will reflect light in a really interesting way that makes it look all shiny. Just looks like a black rock, but if you turn it just right, it turns a brilliant greenish blue. Ah, amazing. This has nothing to do with today's episode, by the way. But it's really pretty.